Okay. We're leaving Renbury. We've only been out for Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Today's Saturday. We've hardly seen any traffic Thursday and Friday. But Saturday and the sun is shining. It just seems to be a, a bit busy. But we're not in any rush. Oh, and I'm sure everybody's fed up of seeing this journey. But do you know what? We enjoy doing it. See, when I'm in my bath chair, and I'm saying, oh, I remember I used to go out on the canal, and the people in the nursing home will say, he keeps on about that, you know. We don't think he did. I'll have my videos. When you're approaching a lift bridge, <laughs> that gentleman there has just had a lovely conversation with me about the artwork on the boat. It's left me sort of a bit lacking in concentration, so it might be a bit bumpy. Ah, oh, no. It'll be all right. They've got the sun up there. And although I've got dark glasses on, I'm looking over the top of them because they're reading glasses. <laughs> because I don't know where my sunglasses went from yesterday. I was talking to that chap. Yeah? He, he was asking me what the connection with the potteries was. So I said, well, I'm from the potteries, but that's a coincidence. I said it's look I said it's looking tired. He said no it looks authentic. I'll I'll have to uh, pick you up here because there's nowhere else. We're just trying to, to navigate. <coughs> you won't be able to see you'll be able to see all this, this beautiful papyrus or whatever it is. I think it's where they're, they're gonna hide the next Moses. But what you won't be able to see is from this camera is there's a big tree lurching out and we're coming around a hairpin bend. So I am having to be <laughs> up here which I've got a bit of a ear infection at the moment I've got a bit of a bad balance but right, I mean that's all dead papyrus from last year we'll just wait until it starts growing again and then we're just approaching um, a tree. Yeah but how do I know I'm not going to fall? Well you don't. Well, I've got my phone on me, so... I, I could make some violent movements if you want. If you well... Want, if you want to go for a swim. I'll be fine, I'll end up swimming, but you'll have to replace my watch. How do you feel about replacing my £100 watch? I've got one that you can have. That's solved that problem. I'm coming down on that bloody now. <laughs> I'm going to see if, if we can pick up the... It doesn't look... It's it doesn't... Yeah, no, it well, back. this is the bend coming up. Yeah, no, you have got. We've got all these growths coming out here. And then that one way... The other thing is, if, if you pull in just in front of them reeds, if you meet somebody coming the other way, and you pull in in front of them reeds, you run aground. Because we've done that as well. We can't find his sunglasses, they're somewhere on the boat. But, right, these ones he's wearing, allegedly, in boots, they were, should be £130. Who pays that for sunglasses? But anyway, they're only 50 quid, only. But he bought them, he said, oh, you never wear sunglasses, oh, here's some sunglasses. And you don't wear sunglasses? I don't wear them! And we've lost my sunglasses, and they but, cost about £9.99. Yeah, but, see, we... I'm actually wearing a watch now, so that spoils me, me, me story, but it's a smart watch, I'm giving it a go. Probably it doesn't, it won't even tell you what the time is. I've had it 18 months, this is the third time I've worn it, but this is the thing, right? Uh, many over many years people used to I bought you a watch for Christmas and I said oh thank you ever so much because we know you don't wear them so we bought you one where's the other fender oh. there's one at the front where... yeah they're all in but, no, but what I'm saying is right people buy me a watch because they don't see me with a watch on <laughs> yeah I see what the problem is yeah, but you did with sunglasses oh I've never seen you wear sunglasses so I'm going to buy you some well, I must admit these ones with a rude name on them, they, they're quite nice. I sometimes go a bit crazy buying off the, off the internet. I've got a bit of a fascination with bands. You have? Yeah. Well, I had it first before. But anyway. So, 
show but one day right i bought this lovely little hat little bag i quite liked it and they opened it and they went oh it's a bit smaller than i was expecting and what did you say straight away it'll just fit my sony camera that's mine is, is what he said and it uh, is no we don't use that sony camera we use this sony and camera now, He's been in my wardrobe recently said, oh, I like that blue top, I'm having that. But luckily, well, it shrunk. See, we used to be able to share clothes, haven't we? We used to, we? But then you started to increase. I got increase, and you were you uh, went skinny I, at one point. Yeah. And I, but now he's going skinnier, skinnier. And I, fatter. -er. I'm, I'm on several medications. One of them says makes you put on weight and the other one says it makes you lose weight. They're having a fight aren't they? So they're having a fight and we're not really sure which one's going to win. If anybody's got a spare few afternoons and they've got a, a, a chainsaw, this is a prime candidate. Yeah but the problem is you can <laughs> see from CRT, right okay so they chop it down then they've got to do something with it they and put it's it on huge. The, they put it on the side and boaters take them for logs. Yeah no but it, you got to admit, that's bloody big. Anyway, I need to start walking now before you go all airy-fairy on me. No, we're, we're, once we got through this bridge, the CRT... Yeah, we've, got, we've got that working boat that you're going to go Well, on. for those of you that are watching that remember Bill and Ben, I used to be frightened... Bill and Ben? I used to be frightened of Bill and Ben because they used to come out to play when the gardener had gone for his lunch. And Little Weed used to say, Little Weed, Little Weed. I don't know why she kept on shouting her own name. And I don't know who was stupid enough to call her Little Weed. But that meant the man in the garden had finished his lunch and he was coming back out. Well, I don't think that these CRT workers are. I think they're just on lunch. What was the point of that whole conversation? I've no idea, but I'm going to stop now. <laughs> Has anybody else got a crew that just randomly jumps off onto the towpath? I mean, look at it. No. Have you, got, you haven't even got your wellies on. Well, we're going around a tight bend. I wanted to see you around the tight bend because I know the workmen here and I know he's going to turn into... Are the workmen there or are they still I having lunch? Do you know what? I haven't got me, me bloody psychic underpants well, on. Well, they were only just down here. I can't see anyone is what I'm saying. I'm... All I can see is orange and blue. No, they're still... Little Wee doesn't call them back out from lunch yet. And my watch is still trying to talk German. Why is it talking Do you know, German? See, the, see this watch here? He keeps going on about it as well. I've got one of them smart watches. Absolute pants. No. Yes, I can talk to Barack Obama and Donald no, Trump on the phone if I wanted German. to. But this, I, got, I, bought, I bought the waterproof and I bought a pack of three for ten, wasn't it? For, well, for thirty quid, they were ten pound each. You were robbed. When the battery goes, sling it overboard. That's not very environmentally bananas. Oh. Okay. Well, well. Don't. Greta uh, Thunberg, if you're watching, Greta just ignore Thunberg. him. Just ignore him. We just had a lovely conversation. What? <laughs> I did mention previously, but I've no idea when this video will go out. It'll probably be eligible to when this goes out. In a, in a couple of weeks' time, I am officially an old age pensioner. I've waited long enough. I've been working since 1971, and I get my pension. And he's just said, "What did you say?" Well, I, I looked it up, and apparently, I don't know if this is true, but it'll be better for me financially if you pass away after you start claiming, because then I, I get more out of it. Isn't but if that, you die before, I only get a small little isn't bit. Isn't that generous of him? I do come from from a background of gentlemen who die at retirement age. My granddad died. Your dad's like 900. Yeah, I know, but he's... Don't like it. He's... <laughs> My granddad Next. died at 66 because he got his pension at 65, but he actually, ironically, had a heart attack on his way to the post office to pick up his pension. Okay. As you know, my cousin died last year, who was 67, and he's hoping that I can hang on a couple of weeks so that I'll get the pension. Right. Okay. Hey, we need to concentrate workmen. Your mum's watching, she'll tell Little weed, little weed, the, the man in the greenhouse has come back from his lunch. I've not seen that move. I think... He... Well, it would appear that little weed was wrong. And the man in, in the garden still hasn't come out from having his lunch. Is he not? Hey, no. It's... And my watch is still saying German, but can I just say, 
When I do the windlass, will it record every step? Can you imagine if you had it in your hand with your hand doing this? Yes, it will think that I'm doing what I want. Can I just tell you? Our next door neighbour, I was stood talking to her with my hand in my pocket. And she said, Tom, will you bring all these trousers round? I've got a sewing machine. I'm <laughs> going to stitch all these pockets up because it doesn't... I won't say what she said. <laughs> just it doesn't look good for his hand in pocket. It doesn't look good. Helmet on today? No, it's only just started recording. No helmet on today. Hello. This is... We can't make her mind up. She wants to be called Eccles. Ethel or Eccles? But that's Ken Barlow's dog. We do sometimes call it Apple, but I thought... Isn't that... Well, she, isn't that... She responds to anything that sounds like that. Isn't there a celebrity with a, with a child called Apple? Oh. She responds to Apple, Ethel and Eccles. And food. So give her away. And food. <laughs> Have we got to pick her up again? Yeah. Do you know how bloody heavy this munchkin is? One, two, three. <laughs> Hey, wavy, 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 wavy. Hello. Apple. Eccles, Apple. Eccles. <laughs> she's so confused. And we wonder why she's mad. Well. We just got to Badly Lot number one. And I think Tom's got off. I think there's a boat coming up. So if I can hover here. The job's a good one. But it is getting, the wind's getting up, so I could end up in that tree or that tree. So we're at Badly Lot number one. It's much easier, it's much easier getting in these locks, going downhill. There's a bit of a current and the overspill, but nothing like coming up. But you get it on the way out. Oh well. What? Pass me phone. Mm, just passed me his phone. With my bad coordination. Oh I know, he's after a new one. Dream on mister. Well, Tom has just enlisted the assistance of some walkers who didn't anticipate being <laughs> okay whenever you're ready Tom has managed to find some Londoners who've never seen a canal before. How nice, they've really enjoyed them. But he he uh, press ganged them into doing the lock and now promised, promised that Tom will give them a certificate. <laughs> the Luke is full of wheat. Hello, hello. I'd just like to tell the viewer. Viewer? All the clothes in our wardrobes have shrunk. And even my hat. Well, that's not quite true because. It shrunk, it doesn't I, fit my head anymore. Yeah, but your, yours are. How am I doing your side? You're fine. Some of my jeans, they've got that much room inside them now. I've only got two pair of jeans now. 
Mind you, we're saving the environment. How are we doing your side? What? Yeah, How have thank you. Done you. That? Well, because you weren't looking. So, when I looked, you were fine, and now you. Yeah, well, that's the nature of boating. Why are you just putting that blue? Domestic. Right, we're just approaching the Swanley Top Lock. It's been a lovely trip, but I'm worn out now. So two locks to do and then the drama of entering the marina. <laughs> oh, it's it's it isn't windy. But I can feel it on my back, it is picking up. But it'll be blowing a gale when we're trying to reverse into a mooring spot. Just watch. Just entered uh, Swanley number one lock. Uh, it's been a glorious cruise. But I think we'll leave it here because you've seen us all shouting before. We've only got one more lock and the marina. Until next time. I'm just saying goodbye to the viewer. Viewer? Because so they've seen us arguing enough times. When we're trying to get back in the marina. I know. So. You didn't tell him, though. I know. So I'll switch the camera off and we'll see you next time.